cutie. You're going to help me out too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? It's an Electro Monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of Electro Power. Stand back, sweeties. Red enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. for a little shot. <laughs> Oh, 
you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. The thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. But why would one of the Four Winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. It's finally done! Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going... Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Hit! <laughs>
this an answer from this world? Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, Please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss.
Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer in your woven dump. This is bad. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out! I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kyle, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But. The immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. These incredibly thrilling adventures are romances that could only be told by pirates. Holy moly! That's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. 
We won't let it fall into the wrong hands. We must get the sword before them. You just rest assured that we are here to help. Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? <laughs>